What's good guys? Welcome back to my channel. Bad Boys Ride or Die. Bad Boys 4 just dropped a final trailer. I've already reacted to the official trailer, I believe. Was it teaser? That was pretty good. What happened in the previous one? I think it was what? We saw his son again. We saw that the captain was back, I believe. That's the gist of it. And obviously they're back for another one last ride. So <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to the movie. Obviously the only issue is the tainting of Will Smith and you know the Oscar slap and all that stuff so it's only time will tell if we have forgiven him you know if, if we're going to watch his movie which I think probably most people will the controversy gets forgotten eventually so let's see what happens um but yeah let's let's check out this trailer guys before i get into that please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow the channel i want to get to the 1000 subs so i can become a youtube partner i really appreciate your sub today let's check out this trailer guys mike there's a storm valley things are going to get bad we're going to be tested just know we're good Tonight, tonight. Boys, if you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. Whoever gave the order to kill me is in the department. They're coming after you next. Oh, so he's dead. Be careful. He is dead because he you died in the previous one, didn't he? What? You dead? We're being framed. He was killed by his son. I remember that. That's actually a pretty no cool backup. plot. We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. You set the damn fan on fire. Everybody relax. The fire's on the outside. The house on the inside. Oh, so they did bring his son with them. Yes, I like that. Terrible fugitives. Put a bounty on them. They'll have it coming from cops. Let's go. Woo! And every gang in the city. The bounty is dead or alive. And I take the three in the front. You take the six in the back. Oh no, the f you not. <laughs> That's good. I hope. You hit? No. Black jelly bean. Nobody likes that. Sh oh my god. I hope Marcus becomes a badass again. We're not losing today. Let's go. I mean nasty Mike. Bang, bang, mother. Yes. <laughs> uh -uh. Be gone, Gator. Oh my God. You. It's an alligator. See, Mike, that's how you command the universe. He's coming for you. Oh. That mother racist, Mike. Go. That mother racist. <laughs> okay, guys. So I assumed. I don't know what it is. What made me think that? What made me think the captain was alive? Because clearly he died in the previous one, guys. So he got shot in the neck, if I remember correctly. He got shot by his son. His son was being controlled, I believe. So okay, so he is dead, and this is like his message for them to get in case of his death. Interesting. I do like. It makes the plot even more interesting now because I think I wanted to see them avenge him but obviously the ending of the previous one wasn't like satisfying because obviously it's his son and the woman he used to love blah 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 so it would be good to see them go out kicking butt for the captain i like that i'm actually even more interested now seeing that and then also one of the things that i hated about the previous one was that marcus was really toned down like he he was just i was waiting for marcus to just you know release the beast you know the marcus we know from part two and part one but in this in the part three they just really made him not annoying but he he was holding he was holding back I, I, I love the whole Mike needs to have a family part, but the fact that he was just holding him back, it was just a lot. So I didn't like that. But in this one, I'm hoping we see Marcus like really explode and release, you know, the beast and just, yeah. Because he strikes fear. Even in part one and two, he struck fear into the hearts of the bad guys. So guys, I'm really excited for this movie now. I really like the premise. I like that they're going to honor their captain because he's always, you know, helped them even when they've 
kind of messed up. He's always been there for them. So I like to see them go out and just kind of clear his name. And I think that's really good. What else is there? Yeah, so his son, that's an interesting storyline. And obviously his son is doing time for what he did in the previous one. So it will be interesting to see on what basis they bring him out. Maybe, you know, he's going to help them with the case and shave off some time. Who knows? But it's, it'll be really good to see him working with his dad on a new premise. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. I really am. I want to see what they do with it. Obviously, the only reason why anyone wouldn't be excited for this movie is the issue with Will Smith, which I think is probably not going to be a big deal. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah. Let, let's see how that goes and of course just like axel foley guys i hope they don't deconstruct them they don't make them regret their many heroism you know what i mean i mean i like what they're doing with mike larry we're just trying to get him to start a family obviously he kind of has an older son now but i'm sure they still want to get him to settle down which is good which is fine but don't you know don't break them down you know what i mean guys let me know what you think in the comments below are you looking forward to this movie is Will Smith little debacle with Chris Rock gonna affect whether you watch this movie or not? What do you think about them bringing all these movies where they're bringing back our old G's? Do you think it's on purpose because movies are not doing great right now, so they're trying to draw people back in, or you know what do you what do you think is happening there? Because we got what we've got Axel Foley coming, we've had Coming to America two happen, we've had what Bad Boys three and now four matrix revolution like not revolution matrix um what was that latest matrix that was trash it was just rubbish matrix four i forgot what the, what name they put on it but yeah do you think that's on purpose do you think they're doing that on purpose who knows i don't know anyway guys let me know what you think in the comment below guys remember i have a relationship channel where i discuss relationship marriages and faith i'll put it on the screen right now please go over there watch my videos over there give me a like comment and subscribe over there and if you enjoyed my reaction to bad boys ride or die bad boys 4 let me know in the comments below give me a like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys on my next reaction